Hi everyone, thank you for watching. I am Kate and I have decided that since I end up doing a lot of cooking or baking that I'm just going to call these shows um, Kate's Kitchen basically. So welcome to Kate's Kitchen officially on my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making jalapenos stuffed with chicken and cheese and wrapped in bacon. Now we got this really good well, I don't know if it's good, but it sounds good. It's jalapeno thick cut bacon. We're going to wrap half of them in that, and then the other just in good old applewood thick cut bacon. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a very easy recipe. It's also great if you're doing low carb because there's really not any carbs in this. Um, and also, if you like hot food, it could be pretty good too because the jalapenos do get spicy. Also, if anyone knows whether or not there's any truth to these markings on the jalapenos making them hotter, please let me know. I'm very curious. I had heard that before, but don't know um, whether or not it's true. So again, let's go ahead and get started. So one thing you're definitely going to want to do is get your oven preheated. I'm going to cook these at 350 for about an hour. The first thing you want to do is have some chicken cooked. I used uh, some chicken breast and I seasoned it with cumin and chili powder and garlic salt. So there we have that. That's probably one to two chicken breast. So you want to have that cooked. Another idea and another option if you're short on time is using the canned chicken and just mixing it with some cheese and then stuffing the jalapenos. So once you've got your chicken cooked, seasoned, and ready to go, and again, another way to season it would be to just use one of the taco seasoning packets you can buy at the store. So you wanna have your chicken ready. I like to um, go ahead and get the jalapenos ready as well. And to do those, what you wanna do is you just wanna snap off that stem there and then you're going to cut them the long way. And then you're also going to just spoon out the seeds in there. So I am using 11 jalapenos. I was just kind of whatever I picked. It was very random. I don't normally do a count when I do these. However, you are going to want to choose jalapenos that are a little fatter, I guess you could say, um, so that you fill them up so that you can put more stuff inside of there. You can use the shallow ones. Um, you're just not gonna be able to get as much stuff inside of them, obviously. Also, make sure you wash your hands <laughs> when um, you're done, you know, at least doing this part and off and on with this process because they are jalapenos, the juice is hot, and the last thing you want to do is go rubbing your eye or touching something and basically burn yourself with this. So definitely make sure you're washing your hands when you're finished um, cutting up the jalapenos and again, just any time handling them because that is a spicy, because they are hot. <laughs> So this is just kind of a hack I've mentioned in some of my other videos. Something we do here in our home is we cut our bacon um, in half, pretty much. So and I do that with these more specifically too because I like the way that the bacon fits on the jalapenos when it's in half slices. And I'm, again, I'm doing half with the jalapeno bacon. Mmm, that smells good. And half with the apple wood. So, this is pretty easy. A few different ways you can do this. Alright, so once you've got your jalapenos cut down the middle, the long ways, spooned out, you are ready to start stuffing them with the chicken and cheese. Again, a couple of different ways to do this. You can mix the cheese with the chicken and stuff them, or you can just load them up with chicken. 
and put the cheese on top. And you can then do the bacon and you can add more cheese. And so you just kind of wrap the bacon around. That's one way to do it is to wrap them like that. And I am putting them on a pan lined with foil. I know there are some people out there that are rather opposed to using aluminum foil. Um, good, you know, for you. Do what works for you. You're make, if you're making this at your own home, don't use the foil. I use it because it's easier to clean up. So again, you're just gonna keep doing that process, whichever way works for you. Stuffing them. And I just kind of use my fingers. My hands are clean. I wash them. Unwrap. And again, another option is to just kind of lay the bacon on there. Um, sometimes if I have smaller strips, that's what I do. But honestly, I do prefer it wrapped around. And these are great the next day as well. They're really good. Sometimes it's almost like they even get a little spicier the next day. Now, as you can see, I'm getting down to the very end and I've got just barely any chicken left. I do have two jalapenos left to fill. So what I'm going to do is probably take some out of the ones over here that I really stuffed and just make sure I have enough for all of these. All right, and that should do it. Now, something to keep in mind while you're baking these, you're going to want to take them out when they've achieved a firmness or a softness within the jalapeno that you like or a crisp within the bacon that you prefer. So with us, I like my jalapeno pretty soggy and obviously the bacon really done. Um, that's just how we like to eat them here. And you'll see that here when I'm finished. This is a meal that we basically have for dinner. So this is like what we have for dinner. We don't have really anything with it usually. And that was just enough bacon, so that worked out perfectly. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so here we have on this side, anyway, the majority of them are going to be the jalapenos stuffed with chicken and cheese wrapped in the jalapeno bacon. And then this row for the most part is going to be just regular bacon. Again, this is our first time using the jalapeno bacon. So very, this is gonna be interesting. Um, I'm gonna add a little more cheese to the top. And just on a few of them, because this isn't necessarily something I normally do. All right. And at this point, they are ready to go in the oven again for about an hour. So there you all have it. Jalapenos stuffed with chicken and cheese wrapped in bacon. And on the bottom, you're going to see that the bacon is finished. On some of them, it may be a little darker, or your jalapenos may look like that. But this is the finished product here. If you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like for me. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to Kate's Kitchen along with all of the other random fun things I do. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how your recipe turns out.